We often talk about game changers in aviation, but this time it really is a game changer. We're seeing here the very first personal jet, single engine, to be certified into Europe and indeed flying around the world. I'm going to be with Dal Klapmeyer. He's the CEO and founder of Cirrus Aircraft, who are bringing this to market. Dale, thank you for joining us. Today must be a great moment for you to be certifying this aircraft here. Well, it definitely is an exciting day for us. Uh, opens up another big part of the world where we can now deliver this airplane. Now, tell us about this vision jet. You were one of the guys that had the vision at the very beginning. What's different about it? There's a number of things that make this airplane really special. First of all, everybody can see it's a single engine jet, and that makes it different. But what makes it special is this the cabin. We designed this airplane for the owner to sit in the front left seat. Incredibly comfortable. It's a sedan. When, you, when the owner's in the front left seat, anybody in the airplane is there because they have a relationship with the owner. So having that sedan seating arrangement, you're, you're a part of the flight. You're all together in it. The visibility out of this airplane is phenomenal. There is nothing else like it with this type of visibility. And then we designed it to be our customer's next airplane. So if you're flying around in a 22 or a 22T, this airplane is a natural next step. We laid out the instrumentation. So your hands go to the same place. Your hands are doing the same things that they are in the 22. Certainly some of the avionics are different, but you're still doing the same, the same features, the same processes are all being done in this one. And then this is obviously the very first jet that's got a parachute. It's got an airframe ballistic system on it as well. Now we hear a lot about the challenges. It's quite easy, if you like, to get an aircraft program going. It's damn difficult to certify it. You've gone through that. What were the challenges getting to certification? Well, there are a lot of challenges to get certified. And it typically starts with money. It's not easy and it's not cheap. So we actually, you know, people always ask, how long did it take? Well, you know, we go at what we call the speed of cash. And through the recession, that speed was rather slow. Uh, after the program was funded uh, about this time four years ago, we went at a very fast rate to get it done. And there's a lot of challenges. A single engine jet creates challenges for us, for the, the validation authorities, uh, for the engineers, for the engine manufacturers. Everybody's coming at things a little bit different with a, a single engine. And then, of course, the parachute adds another uh, enormous dimension to the program. Okay, and can we just talk numbers? How much does it cost and how many are we likely to be seeing in our skies? Well, how many? We're going to see hundreds of these airplanes. The world is looking at travel in a personal way now. People want to travel by themselves. They want to travel with their family. They don't want to get stuck in a, a tube, whether it be a bus or an airplane. Personal, tra personal transportation is the way that people want to, want to move about. So we're going to see a lot of these airplanes. You know, the base price on this airplane is $2 million, and then there's options on top of that. But for that, you get an airplane that'll take four people 800 nautical miles or go a thousand, about 1100 nautical miles with a couple of people inside. But more importantly, you get an airplane that is incredibly comfortable, very easy to fly, very, very intuitive avionics, an airplane that's set up like it is when you drive to the, the airport. You drive to the airport in a sedan, you get out and you fly to the next airport in a sedan. 